I just realized, butt kickers, the number of videos left with this background in it is pretty small. I know you've come to know and love this background, but like all good things in life, it must come to an end. Which part of this background are you going to miss the most? Is it the black plastic sideways container turned into a bookshelf? Or maybe it's the wads of grocery store receipts. Maybe you'll miss the one sliver of the poster over on that side of the screen, or the little bit of the door you get to see on that side. Soak it in while you can, butt kickers, because it won't last much longer. And the fact that you can simply go back and watch old videos and enjoy this background to your heart's content does not detract from the importance of this message. You all leave comments about the stuff I talk about, the content I provide, and I appreciate the courtesy, but I think now is time for a little candor. I know why you're really here. You're here for the background. I just know. Maybe I should just get out of the way so you can bask in the glory of the background, unhindered. Good afternoon, butt kickers. It's May 9, the 129th day of 2011, which means if Google can be trusted, which it can't, but I'm going to give it a chance anyway, it's Roger Hargreaves' birthday. Roger Hargreaves was the creator of the Mr. Men children's book series, a fine set of bite-sized literature, and one of the defining aspects of my childhood. Gonna come clean here, I loved the Mr. Men books. I still love the Mr. Men books. It's such a simple concept. You take Mr. and put a word after it, and there's your character. Fairly two-dimensional, yes, but kids don't give a rat's patoot about flat characterization. For example, there was Mr. Happy, and he was happy. There was Mr. Miserable, and he was miserable. There was Mr. Bump, one of my personal favorites, and he couldn't help but get into injurious accidents. There was Mr. Rush, and he of course listened to Rush Limbaugh. There was Mr. Mean, and he was the sum of all values in a set divided by the quantity of numbers in that set. There was Mr. No, the evil mastermind before he received his doctorate degree. There was Mr. Nonsense, and he pickled elephants with pink rollerblade waffle mice and lava cakes. There was Mr. Good, who constantly had to deal with being mistaken for Mr. Well. There was Mr. Impossible, Mr. Grumpy, Mr. Small, Mr. Tall, the list goes on and on. Here's what I think we should do, butt kickers, and this may have been a predictable outcome of today's subject matter, but I think we should make our own Mr. Men. Now, the key is to make him in some way visually similar to his primary characteristic. Take, for example, Roger Hargreaves' first Mr. Man, Mr. Tickle. He has long, bendy arms and a big, upturned smile. Effectively the visual representation of the abstract idea of a tickle. Here's some I came up with to help you with your creation. Mr. Radiation. Mr. Fart. Mr. Nerd. Mr. Non-existent. Mr. Disregard for Personal Space. And Mr. Beard. Send your Mr. Men to it's the program at gmail.com. Here's your chance to be highly creative. I believe in you. Also, in the comments section, leave me your questions because it's that time again. Question Quinsday number four is two short days away. And that's pretty much it. Sorry for the shorter video today, but I got some studying to do. So until tomorrow, I'm Griff, and I'm still talking.